Hey everyone, it's Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you're doing well. I am good. We recorded the PowerCat podcast yesterday afternoon. It's now available on all platforms, including the video version on the YouTube machine. Go check that out along with watching this daily delivery about quarterbacks and why, even though I love them, 24-7 national kind of kind of ruffled my feathers. I don't really have feathers. I'm not weird. Anyhow, first, your reminder, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's get over 13K so we can move on to 14 and then 15. That's that's how it works. Also, hit the thumbs up, leave those comments. And we're sponsored by MailRig Golf Clothing. Both of these items are from MailRig. Love them both. A lot of questions about yesterday's purple block shirt. Whew, go order. The link's down there in the story. Man, it's good stuff for inexpensive prices. On with the DD. So 24-7, uh, our parent company, the one we're contracted with to cover K-State, is doing conference quarterback rankings right now, heading into the season. And it's the kind of typical filler stuff a site such as us do during the off season. Here's a list, might be totally wrong in the fall, but here's a list, and they're well read. And I read uh, two of these stories. I didn't really care about SEC quarterbacks, but I did care about Big Ten quarterbacks. And I, of course, cared about Big 12 quarterbacks. That list came out on Wednesday, early. Avery Johnson was ranked the seventh best quarterback in the Big 12. Maybe an email to one of the publishers might have helped understand what's going on. The three top quarterbacks were all from Pac-12 institutions that are joining the Big 12. That's not really what I'm upset about. Look, Avery doesn't have a lot of history behind him. I didn't agree with that, but I see why someone who's just kind of looking superficially at everything would come to that conclusion. Here's my issue. The Big Ten rankings. At number three was Will Howard. And I don't disagree with that. I think Will's a tremendous quarterback, and I think his style will fit the Big Ten quite well. And number one was Dylan Gabriel. That was at Oklahoma, and now is at Oregon. So here's the problem with all this. First of all, they're both Big 12 quarterbacks a year ago. Did you regard them in the top of the nation a year ago when they're at the Big 12? No. And keep in mind, they weren't the first team pick in the Big 12 last year. It was Quinn Ewers from Texas. Okay, so maybe you got it wrong. Maybe these guys are good. Just because they went to a bigger institution doesn't mean they're better. In fact, you argue that Dylan Gabriel was very parallel in his move from Oklahoma to Oregon. Yeah, there's no arguing that Kansas State to Ohio State in the eyes of the nation is an upgrade and Ohio State is a blue blood. But here's the issue. If they weren't the top quarterback in the Big 12, how can they be top quarterbacks in the Big 10? Isn't that conference so much better? That's what we're told. It doesn't make sense. And why did Will Howard leave? Because he wasn't going to be the starting quarterback at Kansas State. He lost that job to the guy that also got ranked seventh by the same same people. Hmm. It's almost like if you play in the Big Ten, you're instantly better, even if you haven't done anything. And as for Quinn Ewers, who was the best quarterback in the conference, now, of course, there in the SEC, there's a lot of talk down in Austin. He might lose his job to a kid named Manning. It's amazing. The Big 12 has a lot of talent. And it's not just talent that when it transfers out of the Big 12 and gets to the Big Ten or SEC becomes better. Those quarterbacks you listed in the top three for the Big Ten are legit. They were legit last year, but I'm going to say it, and forgive me if you're a Dylan Gabriel believer. I don't get the hype. He's a very good quarterback, but this thought that he's going to be the best quarterback in the Big Ten, if that's true, the Big Ten quarterbacks are pretty okay. That's just my thought. Will Howard may not even be able to keep the job at Ohio State, and he's number three. Well, it's just an off-season list. I'm not that worked up, but I, I am confident of a couple things. Avery Johnson will be one of the top three quarterbacks in the Big 12 this season, period, end of story. In fact, he is listed as the, uh, by most books as the highest ranked, rated, uh, best odds in the Big 12 to win the Heisman Trophy. Any position. And he's the seventh best quarterback? Nah, man, that's not right. And just because two guys transferred from the Big 12 to the Big 10 doesn't make them instantly better just makes you think they're better.